Okay, uh, we have developed uh, a tool to be used in a, in a real case scenario okay, to optimize the routes for marine shipment. Um, we'll give a presentation in three steps, so I will go through the first one, which is the introduction. Okay. Nowadays, I will come a bit here. Uh, nowadays, there's a lot of uh, marine traffic, as you all know. Actually, it, is, it keeps increasing because of the because of the, of the globalization. And actually, right now, you see from this is a snapshot of all the ships this morning in the in the ocean. Okay, so if you see from China to Europe, there is a lot of uh, commerce taking place. And actually, you can observe that right now, the current routes are going through South Africa or through, through the Mediterranean Sea coming through here. Of course, through the Mediterranean Sea is much shorter, but there is a problem which is that you have to pay a lot of money to cross here and there. So, a lot of companies consider which rules to use depending on the goods they are shipping. Okay? So, the, the, the problem we want to solve is using weather and marine data, which route should we use? <coughs> Taking into account the waves, the wind, this uh, has an, an, an effect on the fuel consumption. Okay? And also, I would like to note that we have also considered a route through the Arctic since uh, with the global warming and the, the improvement on the, of the ships, this route has started to be a feasible route, which is much shorter, although it doesn't look shorter because of the projection, it is much shorter than the other two. <coughs> Okay, so for this, we have, not, we have read some papers and we have seen that fleet operators usually consider the velocity of the ship to save fuel. Okay, but, they don't, but there are also some other uh, variables, uh, like, uh, like, as I said, the waves and wind speed. These uh, have effects in the fuel consumption directly that we can measure if as we know in which point we will be, we know with a forecast, with the same, uh, so with a forecast, we know the, the, the values of the data. Okay, this is a bit of a, the model, but we'll not go directly through this, but just to mention that you can see, for example, that the way has a direct impact in the fuel consumption of the ship. Okay, with this we have to uh, create a model. Okay, and uh, basically uh, the the scope of this uh, of this uh, analysis or, or tool, because if it is not analysis, we can update it with the data whenever we want with the with the data which are provided. Now we can decide which route we want to take and actually also how to operate the route. Because if we know already that there will be a thunderstorm in a thousand kilometers, maybe we want to accelerate to go through this uh, point before it takes place, or as we know that we will have to stop anyway, we we'll reduce the velocity. Okay. Uh, okay. Before running out of time, I will hand over. So what uh, we have done then is. Uh, to extract uh, the level four data from the Siemens in uh, NetCDF uh, for format. This is uh, uh, one of the, our inputs. The other inputs is the shield routes uh, that can be provided by the maritime traffic in a CBF format, which is giving us longitude and latitude of the path. And uh, we are going to uh, to uh, integrate this data and provide this data to our algorithm. 
which is uh, as explained by by Pablo, is going to compute the consumption of the fuel every every moment, and uh, and after that we can visualize this in a KML form. This is the format that we have choice. So then, what we want is uh, it was also mentioned by by uh, Pablo is that uh, as with this uh, Arctic uh, option, what we want is to give a more uh, information to the decision makers to see if it's convenient or not to use mainly this Arctic uh, route for the for the ship. Okay, and uh, yeah, so we we have some reference here, and we we want to give you a, a live demo of the tool or how it's compute this. So, as Maya said, uh, this is a tool uh, trying to support the decision makers uh, to evaluate what routes would be the most feasible for the interest in terms of cost saving, uh, in terms of the fuel required when there is bad weather conditions due to the wind or due to high winds. So, as it was mentioned, we have received uh, taking access to the data in CDS format from uh, Copernicus. So, we have. Uh, we have uh, developed from scratch uh, this tool, it's in Python. Um, basically, the tool will receive an input with the root of the boat. This is an example that we have taken, latitude and longitude. Uh, okay. And then we are going to analyze what would be the cost of, of a baseline route through Africa, from Hamburg to Hong Kong, uh, if we know the meteorological conditions in advance. So the tool is computing all the points. It's, what it's doing is aligning the data from the waves with the data from the winds. It's also correcting some mismatch, <coughs> time mismatch, and also the masking. And what it's producing at the end is a percentage of the total average fuel extra that the boat will need due to these conditions. So the result is this type of table where we have all the, all the data and the final delta and the fuel. And then also we can have access to the cable file, which I hope it works. Yes, so we, here we can see the route. And basically, each of the segments have a color depending on the impact that the weather will have in the consumption of the fuel. So you can see. So you can see that basically uh, red is having an impact on the consumption uh, and the most light color is not having much impact uh, in terms of uh, delta fuel. And this can be used by the decision makers to evaluate all the roads of all the boats and see what is the most convenient in the forecast uh, data. Thank you.